Hi, I'm Sandy with GlassMoose.com. I wanted to take a minute and show you how I fix my bead release when I'm working with my 104 COE. I don't like using this with Boro, it doesn't hold, but with my choice it seems to work great. I get this from DNL, which is my wholesale supplier in Denver, Colorado. Oh, so you might check with your local supplier. You can see I've got my 332nd glass ro uh, mandrels here and my choice bead release. And usually if you don't use your bead release for a little while, it gets kind of thick and hard. I haven't used mine for a while, like a week or so. And so it's kind of gotten thick on me. And I have added a little bit, kind of got it almost to the point where I want it. But it's still a little bit thick and gooey. Now, if, you, if you're new to lamp working, they say fix it and make your, your bead release like pancake syrup. Well, or pancake mix. Well, that kind of is all relative. Since it's just a little thicker than I like, I'm adding just a little bit. And you can see I only put in maybe a half dozen drops of water. I use tap water. Some people say you should use distilled water. I haven't found that tap water makes any difference. But you want to make sure you get it nice and smooth. No lumps in there. And that it's mixed all the way down. Not just on the surface there. And what I watch for, I like to have it so that when I stick my mandrel in there, when I pull it out, it runs down. It, it drops a little bit. I don't know if you can see that little ball on the end. But if I can get it, if I tap a little bit and if I can get a drop off of it, which of course it's not going to do because I'm doing this one-handed, if I can get a little drop coming off of it, that's perfect for me. Now it also makes a difference how you insert and pull out your rods. If you insert your rod into your bead release, I give it a little twist. If you pull it out fast, you're going to get more bead release on there than if you pull it out slow. So you can kind of control how much bead release goes on your mandrel. Again, in, give it a little twist, pull it out nice and smooth, and you're going to get a nice smooth coating on there. Again, I watch for just a little ball up or a little drip. And that works the best for me. And what I've got here, I'll show you. This is my mandrel holder. Nice high-tech planter with pegboard cut out and all of my mandrels in there. And that way they don't kind of fall together. Some people use sand. That works also. But that that's what works best for me using choice bead release. Thanks for watching.